Hi there, it's Wave McMaster here. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you basically how you can create a Instagram uh, template in Photoshop you can use to post to your feed. Now, uh, this video can also work simply as a how to create an Instagram post um, if you just leave out a few steps. So it's essentially only a couple of extra steps to save it as a template for future editing. But um, now, first thing is with Instagram, there's a few different sizes you can use when creating a, uh, an image. So I'm gonna pop them up on the screen right now. And one is that um, if you choose a landscape, uh, so a smaller, so like a wider and shorter image, um, it's basically 1080 by 608 pixels. So 1080 pixels tall by 608 pixels, uh, sorry, 1080 pixels wide by 608 pixels tall. If you want perfectly square, we're going 1080 by 1080 pixels, which is kind of like uh, the probably the neatest version in the sense that uh, it shows up and everything on the feed is cropped nicely and um, it pretty much it's going to be the neatest appearance however the portrait size which is 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels is the tallest and will take up the most space on a phone so it generally has the most visual impact so for most people trying to grow Instagram and reach more people I generally recommend trying to fit into that larger image size because that's actually gonna take up more space on the phone and uh, be a little bit more commanding of the person's uh, yeah, sight. So that way it's harder to miss uh, and you can really push your message a bit more easily. So now the way that we do this is I'm gonna actually just create a portrait. So one of the larger images and then um, save that as a template and we'll quickly pop, show you how to get that onto Instagram uh, at that full size. Now the way it works, we're going to go to File and New in Photoshop. Going to New. Now, one thing I'm actually going to do, I can go straight away. I can type in 1080 by 1350 here. But uh, what I'm actually going to do, just for the sake of this video, is I'm actually going to go 1080 by 1080 first and hit Create. And because I have all these rulers here, if you don't see these uh, rulers here, go to Window. And I believe it's under Rulers. I could be wrong, actually. Sorry, View. Rulers, sorry, yeah, under view and rulers or control R. We click on the ruler. I'm just going to drag that down so it snaps to the top of that box and drag that down so it snaps to the bottom. And the reason I'm doing this, it's not, it's pretty much optional, but uh, I wanted to make sure that if I want, because when it shows up on my Instagram profile, the top and the bottom are going to be cut off uh, just on the profile itself when you've got your, you know, your three columns of images. Whereas, on the feed, it's gonna show the whole image. But if you wanted to actually make sure that when people go to visit your profile, that nothing gets cut off, cut off top and bottom, you can do this as well. Um, but I'm gonna to go to image and canvas size here. I'm gonna make sure these drop downs are set to pixels. I'm gonna make the height 1350. I zoom out a little bit by, uh, you can either click the zoom tool or click Z. I hold down Alt to zoom out because I'm set to zoom in. So this is the height of our image and the guidelines show where the image basically would be getting um, cropped, so to speak. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've got my layers panel open here. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make that black. I'm just gonna invert that just for the sake of this video, which is Control I. I'm gonna show you just very quickly how you can set up like a little bit of text or something. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit more involved if you're looking to create a really custom design, but uh, I've actually brought up a window over here. I'm going to drag over. This is pexels.com. This is where you can search for royalty-free images to use. So something for your background. So typing in something like maybe a texture and finding something to pop into the background of your image could be very handy. And you can even you know knock the opacity back and make it uh, a little less intense so the text stands out a bit more if you want. But you can basically go through, find something you like. So maybe something like this. You can go and download that image at full resolution and import it. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to copy image. I'm going to go back to Photoshop and I'm going to go to paste. Now I'm going to resize this. I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and I'm just going to resize this a bit. So something like that. And over here under fill, I'm going to knock that down a little bit just so it's a little bit darker. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna get into the, the nitty gritty of how to use Photoshop, how to design super effectively. I'm just gonna show you some basics on getting some text on there. And um, if you have any requests on anything else, uh, you can leave a comment below and I'll work on creating some future videos on how to do that in Photoshop. But let's just start with uh, 
maybe we've got a headline. So let's start with our headline. We can say Instagram captions or what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start again because something else I want to show you is if I create this, I can keep typing and it gets bigger and bigger and wider. What I'm actually going to do is right click and delete this layer. And I'm going to, with this text box here, I'm going to draw a box like that. Now this text is all in black. I'm going to actually make, uh, click up here, make it white. And I'm going to start typing my headline. So it'll be Instagram images are easy in Photoshop. So I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight that text and I'm just going to knock the size up a bit. Let's make it say 48, maybe even 72. Uh, let's go all the way up to say 100. I'm going to make it left aligned. And we've got some line spacing issues here. So if I click this little box here, it'll either turn on or off this character box. If I hit that, I think it'll actually get rid of it. So I'm just going to click over here on character. But if you're looking for it, when you've got your text tool open, this thing here will, this little button here will turn it on or off. Now the letter, this is actually the line height here with the A and the A underneath. Because we're actually a hundred um, points high, we're going to make this about 90 points to get a nice easy looking headline. And it's actually still a little bit close. So let's make it 110 even. And over here, down here, we've got a few options. I can make it capitals. So I might make it capitals and maybe even shrink that back down to about 90. And just make some adjustments. You can even, you know, just play around with it until you're happy with the line height. Now, it's good to get it right nice and early. So that way, next time you can just open it up and start editing. So I'm going to make this now, I'll say extra bold. So I've got our headline here. I'm going to drag that up. If you're not too concerned, what I said before about your Instagram profile, if you're not too concerned about getting popped, uh, getting cropped in your actual profile view, you can actually have this here and it means that it'll sort of get chopped off here. But it's good to have a little bit of space anyway to give the uh, design a bit of room to breathe. And um, I'll go back to my layers palette and maybe I'll even add a drop shadow. So I'll go to effects down the bottom here, drop shadow. That's gonna stick with the default there. And then I'm gonna create another box here. The reason I'm creating these boxes is because it allows me to then just type and it'll keep it confined to the width of that box. So that way, if you're say doing up uh, a template for quotes or anything like that, you can just do some copy and pasting and it'll go in there. So uh, yeah, pretty handy. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna copy some text I have off to the side here from a post. I do have a post on the website listing social media image sizes. If you wanna reference that, there is a link in the description below. I'm gonna paste all that info in. I'm gonna hit, uh, it's gonna hit control enter because I'm done typing. And over here on the character again, once again, that button is up here or character on the right. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the text a little smaller for one. I'm gonna make it about say 40. And I'll make the line height say 45. Play with it until I'm happy again, 50, 55. This is a little bit much though, this thickness. So I'm gonna make it, uh, I'll go say regular. I'm gonna go turn off the caps. So we have our object there. Now that's sort of starting to take place now. Maybe I wanna add something else in here like a name. So I'm actually just going to this time so I want to see our layers here. It's going to click and type in author names. So say you've got a, a quote you're working on. I'm going to make it right aligned and just move it over here. Make it a bit bolder. So now we've actually designed, say, a quote template, for instance. Now I can actually copy these effects. I can right click on this layer, copy layer style. And I can just right click here to paste that layer style paste that layer style to copy that, to basically just to copy that shadow over. So we've got a basic Instagram uh, text post here, nothing super, super fancy. Um, if you are looking at creating a template more for images, you don't even have to worry about the text. It's more just getting that size right initially. Um, but one thing I do recommend is adding a logo. So I go file, I'm gonna go place, in, place linked. I'm gonna choose my white landscape logo that has popped up over there. 
And I'm just going to pop that logo down the bottom. I'm going to try and center it. Okay, so now I have a basic template I can use for Instagram. Um, one thing I've actually done in the past is even loaded up a series of textures and just so I can switch between them quite easily. Uh, and just that way you have a little bit of a rotation, but the overall look is the same. But let's say that we're happy with that to be used as a template. So anytime you come in, you can simply grab your text tool over here and you know you can, you can click type more in here. You can highlight it all, paste in new information. It's very, very easy. And then of course, if you want to, if you have an image, you can simply place a linked or embedded image into the background. And the size is all good to go. Your guidelines are set up so you know where not to put info if you don't want it to be cropped on your profile view and you're good to get good to go basically now the next step is just one that uh that is very cool it's something to be aware of if i go to save as you'll notice here i've got dot psd so if i call this instagram say maybe 1080 by 1350 template if i save that as a psd file next time i open it i have to be careful not to save over it so what i'm actually going to do is call it dot PTSD, PS and PTSD, PSDT for Photoshop template, not PTSD, forget that part. Now, uh, what that'll actually do if I save that, I yeah, maximize compatibility. I've now created a template. So if I actually shut this down and then reopen it, if I go ahead and make any changes, Maybe I decide to really crank that image up or add a new image. Now watch what happens. If I go to save, it asks me to save a different file. So it actually acts as a proper template file and it will allow you to, whenever you open that image, you actually have to save a copy. So it's kind of like having a read-only file, except you can save over that template if you really want to and uh, go from there. So that is how you create a basic template for Photoshop. Now, if you're ready to use this image, I'll show you how you can use it on your, uh, basically on your account. So I'm gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web. Now, if you're wondering how to save images for your website or say, use a Save Web feature, I do have a full video on that as well. Uh, but we're gonna use a JPEG, and I'm gonna knock that quality down a little bit, say about 52. So the image size isn't too bad, 165 kilobytes. Uh, it's not huge, but it's not, not exactly small either. And we're gonna save this image. We're gonna go Instagram. Instagram post. And we're gonna save that. And I'm going to basically send that to my phone so that we can go ahead and post that to Instagram. So I'm just going to switch to my phone and go from there. Okay, so I basically I've emailed myself this picture and uh, I've now got it on my phone and I'm going to put it on Instagram. Now, the reason I want to show you the actual adding to Instagram is it's just a small step to maximize the size of it. So if I go down to the center and add my little plus button there, You see, I've got a few images. We're going to click on this one, which is the one we've made. And you can see here, it fits all right, perfectly into the square. Um, not as centered as I would have liked normally, but you can see we've got our image here. Now, if we want that full size, all we have to do is down the bottom left, there's a little circle icon with the two arrows in the bottom left and the top right corner, kind of like a little two corners of a square. If I press that, now we get the full image. So now if I go to next, you can see I've got the full image. I can go through and use any of the filters I want to. If I decide to, I can go to next again and start basically typing up my caption and going from there. So that is basically how to get that full size image onto Instagram. Now, if you also upload the landscape image, you will press the same button for it not to sort of crop, I do believe. But um, that's how you can change between that perfectly square image and a different size. Um, and this is about the maximum height I believe you can get on Instagram. So um, that's pretty much it. Now I've also, I'm gonna pop a, a blank template, uh, so a Photoshop file onto, uh, onto the post link below, which is the social media image sizes. So if you want to actually get that uh, template that I created, 
I will pop it there. I'll pop a blank one up there. No, not the pre-filled one. Um, although, I'll, I'll give you the option, come to think of it. I'll pop that one and the pre-filled one up there for you guys so you can download and use them. And that way, you can go ahead and start templating up and getting your Instagram feed looking consistent, uh, being more efficient so you can pump out more, more posts in your preferred style from there. So thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want more. Otherwise, yeah, leave a comment if, you, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.